So today I'll be looking at some third seasons in anime and why they suck. Got four examples to take a look at. Tamagura, Yamano Susume, Yuri Yuri, and Slayers. In Tamagura and Yamano Susume's case, the first season they kind of just threw something out there. Both of them were shorts with Yamano Susume having three minute episodes and Tamagura having 20 minute episodes but only four of them. And yet these shows were surprisingly successful and so they were greenlit for full anime length second season. And here is where the creators went all out. In Tamagura, there's this wonderful arc of the girls coming into their own and showing off what they can do in a culmination of what's called the Us Symposium. In Yama no Susume, there are some serious conflicts and challenges as the girls take on Mount Fuji, which is, of course, no walk in the park, and the whole arc is just extremely well done. However, in both of the show's third seasons for Tamagura, it, uh, it does the exact same thing again. The girls get together and show off what they can do, all culminated in a us symposium. Literally the same thing. And in Yamano Susume, it's just a big fallout from the whole Fuji debacle. The main characters just get into arguments constantly. It can be thought of that both of these seasons are kind of more like build-up with uh, Tamagura after the third season having four conclusive movies and for Yama no Susume there's a new anime on the horizon so hopefully that one can be good again. In Yuri Yuri's case we had a surprisingly popular first season although that's also because of the surprising popularity of the manga as well and so the team went all out for season two. Season two has the best jokes against Ikari, the best Ayano Kyoko moments, and of course more Sakuraku and Himawari. However, by the time the third season comes around, it feels a lot more tired and very samey. There's really no new ground explored at all, so the entire show just feels quite flat. And that's uh, also true in Slayers, where the third season, it's pretending to explore new ground, but it is just the same thing, but way less interesting. The main problem with these is that it is just hard to keep up the high level of quality that was seen in these second seasons. A way that you could perhaps counteract this problem would be instead of having a much, much better second season, if you just have a more consistent flat quality across all of the seasons. You can see this in Takagi-san, where the third season just, uh, just finished airing, and all three seasons are about the same quality. There's not much uh, difference between them. However, after this third season, we will have a movie, and so that will probably be the big uh, hype conclusion, and of course an increase in quality. Also happening for uh, Yudu Camp, which again, the first two seasons are pretty flat, and no, no season three for that one. <laughs> and also I guess you could take a look at Haruhi as well. But in that case, the second season was the garbage tier show, and then after that was the amazing movie. An alternative to fix the third season problem is to just do a complete rebranding of your show. Just don't call it the, the third season. We see this in the uh, Monogatari franchise, where the first season, Baki Monogatari, was followed by the second season, Nisi Monogatari, and then of course the third season, Monogatari Second Season. Hey, now wait a minute. So if I just call it the second season and make that the most hype, best thing ever, and I just don't call it a third season, yeah, maybe that's, that's, that's a way to get around it. Or you could just do something that is completely different than what the first two seasons were trying to do. We can see, you know, Slayers try, tried to do this, but uh, a success comes in Maho Shoujo Lyrical Nanoha Strikers, where the first two seasons of Nanoha, they are 
uh, shonen battle action anime with a little bit of uh, girls love romance, of course. Against this is the third season, which is a military sci-fi show. Again, of course, still with girls love and romance, but by just doing something completely different, they were able to keep up a different level of high quality. So Nanaha, I think, very well succeeded in that. One kind of alluded to it is the other case where if you just have a lower quality second season, and then if you do the third season as the big high quality conclusive finish, this is where we can see in something like Aria, for example, where the third season is just head and shoulders above anything else the show was doing. And the second season of Aria is not bad. It is, however, quite flat compared especially to the third season. So what I mean by third seasons always sucking is that what happens is a lot of these shows just have excellent second season, so the the increase in the expectations from these incredible second seasons just, just causes disappointment for when the third season is at any sort of lower or even a flat quality. A way to remedy this would be, of course, to increase the hype more. I think movies, and especially conclusive movies at that, are are pretty well guaranteed to succeed. Or, you know, you could just never make a third season. You could just stop the story in the middle with nothing else to come ever again, and you're just left with... Actually... 